Our last um, notice motion is from Councillor Brenner, second by Councillor Nagy. It's regards to commemorating uh, Gordon Lightfoot. Um, many know that uh, in um, um, there's an area of Pickering that has streets named after uh, him. So the operative clause is notwithstanding CUL public art policy staff be directed through the office of CIA to undertake a commission of public art to be installed in Ernie Stroud Park. Celebrate the life of Gordon Lightfoot, then they'll be requesting it's the inclusion of 60,000 in the 2024 budget may be funded from public art reserve. That is per section 801 of CUL 130 public art. There are be commissioned through the issuance of Audible Call in the community. Constitution should be undertaken with three top right public art jury selections prior to financing the artist selection. Mr. Brenner. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Um, I want to thank staff for their input into putting this together um, to ensure that it follows due process, proper process, and proper engagement. Uh, I think it's really self-explanatory, and I'll ask for a recorded vote. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Robinson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just wanted to speak a little bit to this item. Uh, Councillor Brenner and I spoke about this way back when, I guess, when um, Gordon Lightfoot passed, which was unfortunate. I think that was like back in May. Um, and at that time, Councillor Brenner had asked me to second the motion, which I had agreed to. And then last week, I was speaking with Councillor Brenner and I was to second it. And you know, I read through the motion. It said that we had to spend $60,000 on a piece of artwork in memory of Gordon Lightfoot um, to go in front of Stephen Hill as it was as it is in the Ward 1 community boundary. And unfortunately, just last week, I had to respectfully decline because, again, as I mentioned in my previous speeches tonight, that I cannot justify spending $60,000 on a piece of artwork when we have more pressing issues such as lineups at the food banks, people facing tough choices between, again, you know, their essential needs like putting gas in their car, putting healthy food on the table for their families, and the rising homeless program, pro problem that we are having heading into fall and winter months. Once again, people can't pay their rent or their mortgage, and some are also going to be losing their homes because they can't afford the inflated bank, rips, uh, bank rates when they're renewing their mortgage. And so we're gonna see a real big increase in the homeless here in Pickering and beyond very, very soon. So I think, as I mentioned before, I think it's really important to prioritize the well-being of our residents, especially during these challenging times. And while art is undoubtedly valuable, it may be more appropriate to allocate these funds towards Im immediate needs and support systems for our community. By addressing the urgent matters like providing healthy meals, access to transportation, and shelter for those in need, we can help alleviate the hardships faced. And I know strategically, I am confident that we can maneuver funds, funds from one department to another to prioritize helping these people of Pickering, to put their needs first and foremost. So last week I mentioned to Councillor Brenner um, that I've been speaking with the developer who is looking to build right across the street of Steeple Hill. So we're talking the National Sports Plaza, or I guess you call it a sports check right now, in that plaza. I was speaking to that developer um, and he said that he would be willing to erect a piece of artwork there at no charge to the council no charge to the corporation of the city of Pickering, no charge to the taxpayers. Again, at no charge, we can get a nice piece of artwork just across the road at no charge because of this developer saying that, uh, you know, his grace is just to help because I had mentioned this to him. But instead, Councillor Brenner went and asked uh, our Ward 2 Councillor, Councillor Nagy, to go ahead and second the motion to spend the $60,000 instead of saving $60,000. So, you know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand very, very clear that I'm committed to championing an initiatives that enhance our community's culture, its landscape. I mean, I told you I love music. I love the theater. I love art. 
But what I don't like is this wasteful spending. So therefore, I did not support, support this motion today, and I'm glad that you asked for a recorded vote. Because again, we have a developer right across the road who is willing to erect a piece of artwork for us. And I mean, we can tell him like, you know, what kind of artwork we, we would like, like, you know, whether it want to be, um, you know, just something that has to do with him or, or, or something else. I mean, maybe we can involve the community and say like, you know, what would you like in the community? What would you like this piece of artwork to look like? But again, it's not going to cost us $60,000. We would be getting this as a gracious gesture from the developer. And I think that's something that, you know, we should be, we should be taking advantage of instead of spending all this extra money. So thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Um, I have a question to staff. Um, we've referenced Art Public Art Reserve 8038 today. Does the treasurer or the CEO, how much is in that reserve? I'd have to get an up-to-date projection, but I think the balance is around 400,000 after taking into account uh, planned expenditures for 2023, but I can get a, okay. a, a and, correct and number. How, how is that, how is that um, reserve funded? It's funded by uh, contributions of uh, annual surplus. Councillor Robinson? I mean, yes, if I might please. So where does that money come from though? Well, so. You're saying oh, yeah. it's a surplus, a surplus from where? And then we just choose which departments to put it into? No, like, I don't understand that process. The city operates, uh, every department uh, has its budget. And if they underspend their budget or if revenues come in slightly higher, uh, that contributes to the surplus. Uh, there's a motion duly moved and seconded. Recorded vote is requested by Councillor Brenner. I'm gonna call the question. Uh, um, Madam Clerk, do the roll, please. Councillor Brenner? Yes. Councillor Bunt? Yes. Councillor Cook? Yes. Councillor Nagy? Yes. Councillor Robinson? No. Mayor Ash? Yes. Your Worship, that's carried five to one. Thank you. Next item is Art Sculpture Pickering Council Chamber, moved by Councillor Butt, uh, second by Councillor Brenner. The operative clause, notwithstanding CLUL 130 Public Art Policy, staff be directed to consult with Pickering resident and internationally renowned sculptor Dorsey Drain, who carves images from world mythology to commission or purchase one of his pieces to be included as part of the council uh, chamber renovation that the, the cost of such work not exceed 30000 and be funded from the public art reserve. And council be updated no long no later than end of Q2 2024. Oh, Councillor Robinson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I love our work as much as the, the next person. And you know, I just have a really hard time right now spending this kind of money on our work. I mean, if the sculpture is already done, you know, maybe it could be a donation to our chambers. You know, I don't know if anybody has asked that. I mean, I know nobody likes to work for free, but, um, you know, just to, you know, have it inside as a piece um, that will be talked about for many, many years to come, even when we're all not here, but, you know, the, the reality of it is right now is that, you know, we are heading into a recession. They're talking about it. You know, our lineups at the food banks are, are out of control and it's just going to get worse. The homeless on our streets, they are starting to, to gather. And, you know, I just think that some of the money that we're spending, like I spoke earlier on in a couple of my speeches, it's like, you know, these are not urgent things that we need to be thinking about right now. I think first and foremost, you know, we need to be thinking about helping our homeless. You know, we're, we're heading into fall, we're heading into winter. You know, um, we can, the, the people at the food banks, you know, they're having a hard time keeping up. They cannot keep up with the amount of people. And here we are, it's like, oh, you know, let's redo our chambers, let's put in new screens, let's put new, um, uh, like tapestry in there or like, you know, let's recover the furniture and revamp it. Well, you know, taxpayers' money, taxpayers' 
um, rates just keep going up and up and up. And we already know that they're going to be going up and up and up in 24. And yet here we are spending money, I'm going to say frivolously, on, on sculptures and stuff when we could actually be helping our community. I mean, I thought that's what we were all elected to do was to actually sit here and help our community. And here we are basing decisions. We haven't gone to the community to see if they care if there's going to be a, a sculpture inside of our chambers or not. And I mean, as much as I appreciate that this person is like a world renowned artist, you know, I would love to meet them. I would love to see their work. But I just don't think that spending money right now on things like this when, you know, we're having such a hard time with inflation and people are losing their homes. I don't think that this is, you know, very beneficial for us. I honestly, I don't. Um, and no matter what department we're going to take it out of, I mean, you know, we can think strategically and get these funds to the homeless, get the funds going to the food banks and actually start helping the people. Like I said, people are going to start losing their homes because they can't afford to, to pay their mortgages. They cannot afford to pay their property taxes right now. And we're sitting here having debates about artwork. Talk, and you know, somebody mentioned privilege earlier. That is privilege as we're sitting here talking about artwork when people are starving and they can't put healthy foods on the table for their families. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. With that, uh, there is a motion um, duly moved and seconded, recorded vote requested by Councillor uh, Brenner, I believe. Correct, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Yep. Councillor Brenner. Yes. Councillor Bud. Yes. Councillor Cook. Yes. Councillor Nagy. Yes. Councillor Robinson. No. Mayor Ash. No. Your Worship, that's carried four to two. Thank you. We move to 10.4. Councillor Robinson, questions? 10.4 regarding the public art policy updates. Um, I have a couple of concerns regarding this. And my first concern is about any policy aimed at eliminating an approval step solely due to potential delays in the process. Um, I believe you said we were removing a step because of, of a timely manner, as it was noted in the report. Um, I'm also concerned about this policy update, which includes a contribution of 5% of the surplus budget towards the public art reserve fund annually, calculated from the surplus of the prior fiscal year. As it stands, I believe we currently have approximately $400,000 in that fund, if I am correct. Yes, okay. Um, so now considering this, wouldn't it be more fiscally responsible for us to utilize that money in order to keep the property taxes down in the upcoming year? Or we could possibly address another grave concern that I have. And although I understand the importance of having artwork, uh, before my fellow councillors tell me about mental health again <laughs> um, and its benefits. Um, I am very concerned that we recently allocated over $90,000 of taxpayers' money towards going to two pieces of artwork, um, one of which um, was offered to have been donated to the city of Pickering by a developer, and the other one that uh, in my opinion, will have no benefits to the community other than if they are visiting here in our chambers, because that's where the other piece of artwork for $30,000 was going. Um, particularly at a time where when we are witnessing an increase in homelessness and unprecedented long lineups at our local food banks, I think this 5% surplus would be maybe more beneficial in supporting our vulnerable community. As I mentioned before, many individuals are struggling to put nutritious meals on, meals on the table for their families. And, you know, everyone seems to talk about helping the homeless and feeding the needy. But, you know, when it comes down to it, to me, it seems like, you know, it really is just talk. So do you realize that we could house and feed the homeless and help all of those suffering who can't afford food on their, put food on the tables for their families with even just part of this 5% of the surplus. Um, and that's just for the winter. And we would still have plenty of money left over. So I think instead of consistently allocating funds towards art, we should be prioritizing and assisting those who are currently experiencing real life crisis today. I would prefer to see, you know, a 5% surplus 
helping who's in crisis today. And then I would like to ask Madam Clerk if we could please have a recorded vote. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Go ahead. Can I can I give a motion to amend this? Yes. Okay. I would like to do that, and then uh, I need a, I need a seconder though. What was sorry? What would your amend, amendment be? My amendment would be would be to send this back to staff, um, have them see where we could allocate that any monies that come in from the five from the five percent surplus over the next year, and um, move that into some kind of a, a funding that will help our homeless, or maybe we could use the monies to help our food banks for for the season. Okay, but let me summarize to send it back to staff to review the 5% uh, surplus allocation from public art to social enterprise, social justice issues. Is there a seconder for that? There's no seconder, so I, uh, we've moved forward with the debate. Uh, Councillor Robinson's asked for a recorded vote, so I'm gonna call the question. Madam Clerk. Councillor Robinson. No. Councillor Brenner. Councillor Brenner. Yes. Councillor Butt. Yes. Councillor Cook. Yes. Councillor Nagy. Yes. Councillor Pickles. Yes. Mayor Ash. Yes. Your Worship, that's carried six to one.